Ladies and gentlemen, let's just turn that down for a sec. Welcome to a Let's Play. This is going to be episode numero uno, uh, which will also be like way longer than all the rest of the episodes, uh, just because that's the way it's going to be. Uh, because it's a live stream, we're kicking off with the live stream, it's going to be a few hours, uh, and then kind of when we, uh, yeah, when we do regular YouTube videos, they'll probably be between like 30 to 60 minutes. I need to uh, ask some people slash the internet, what is a good length for a Let's Play? Because um, I don't really watch that many Let's Plays myself, so I'm not super sure what people love. So uh, yeah, we will uh, we'll kind of get into it. So this one will be a bit more stream friendly, and then uh, coming up, the rest of them will just be like, Probably uh, no f no face. Probably just uh, just gameplay because I know that's what most let's plays are, right? Like no cams. So we'll uh, we'll see. Sebastian, how are you doing? Yeah, I don't see a lot of uh, I don't see a lot of people using um like I don't see a lot of people using face cams either in let's plays. So we'll uh, we will see. But yes, let's get into it. We can uh, go see some Planet Craft. Long Let's Play meta is kind of dead. Face cam's usually fine. All right, well, that also works. We're gonna add a bit of volume. So Planet Crafter, we're back. It's been a, it's been a long time. May the follow be with you. Gabby, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. How you doing? Welcome in. Mostly your call. Just fell out of bed. <laughs> Hope you're feeling better, by the way, Sebastian. I think for a Let's Play, a face cam is not essential unless you're playing something with a strong narrative component. Uh, no. Absolutely not. I mean, maybe near the end, to be honest, like the parts that I haven't done, like as you can see, I have a world that is, is quite terraformed. This will show you like how terraformed your worlds are. It's like, this is like barely, this is like what we'll start with. And then this is kind of what it looks like relatively near the end. Um, but this was the one I recorded on my YouTube videos on a couple of years ago. But uh, yeah, we're going to start a new game. We're going to call it Let's Play. And then there's like a million options. Uh, game mode, I'm going to go standard. Landing site, I'm also just going to go standard. There's a bunch of people. Dying consequence, no consequence. Drop some items, lose all your items. Or hardcore is like delete your save file. Don't worry about that. All of this, we're just going to leave kind of as is. Uh, and then we're just going to go create. And then we're going to load and go. Emergency. Correct your trajectory. Imminent impact. Imminent impact. So that's also new, by the way. They never used to. They never used to have that. You just kind of got started on the planet as you uh, as you did. So, for those that don't know, Planet Crafter is a game where you get dropped into a completely uninhabitable planet, uh, and the whole point is you have to make it habitable. That is basically the entire goal. Uh, you start with just this kind of gun uh, that you get to pick up items with and we're gonna run around and pick up some things oh my god oh yeah I was gonna say why am I so slow but it's because I'm not running so this is where you start I'm also just going you also like get a kind of uh, you get some things to start with you get water you get oxygen you get some food you get a seed uh, so we want to craft a tier one backpack so that we can carry more things, quite important. Tier one oxygen tank, I need magnesium. But basically this game has all of the, essentially the basic blocks for life. And then you've got to kind of craft them, improve your planet, uh, make it work better with you. The idea of this game, the evolution, it is so good. Like I I love this game so much. Like it, it it's the game that made me a YouTube partner, right? So I, uh, I really do enjoy the hell out of this game. I'm going to need uh, some magnesium. How much silicon have I got? 
two. Okay. I'm also thinking I might need to move my cam a little bit. This bit. This bit. This, this. This. A little further down. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't cover too much of the... Oh, I forgot the switch. I uh, forgot the... Get rid of the sub-goal. Don't need the sub-goal. Uh, yeah, but it comes night very quickly. Um, and I need to go and find some magnesium. Yep. So, to begin with, like, your ship has uh, all of the... Has, like, basically is an oxygen safe place. Even though it doesn't look like it with, like, the door massively open. Uh, but what we're also going to do is we're not going to stay here, right? Like, I'm going to go and craft my base over up there somewhere. Mainly because I know what happens if you stay here. Uh, and once you get water, it is not a fun place to be. Okay. So, I need a silicon and a magnesium. Because constructors are good. But deconstructors are also good. You also find that there's like chests kind of rolling around. Uh, oh my god. This chest has a lot of things that I need. Uh, that's quite a handy chest, to be honest. That's got very many things that I need. Um... Deconstruction. Okay. Right. I think we have all the things that I'm going to need. Uh, take the seed. Take the food. Alright. We're going to make our way all the way over here. There is fall damage. Uh, but only if you really, like, genuinely fall a very long way. Uh, and you'll see that there's, like, quite a few chests throughout the area. The thing about the chests is like the first time you open them, so the contents are kind of tied to your terraformation index, and I'll explain terraformation index in a sec. But basically the further along you get, the better the contents of the chests are when you first open them. It's like Schrodinger's chest. Like when you open them, the contents are locked, but up until that point, it can be kind of whatever you want. It, whatever like matches the terraformation level of uh, the place. Oh dear. I have not done this very well. Oh dear. I have not done this very well at all. Oh no. Okay, well I'm just going to die straight up. So that's not very fun. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Okay, well, we almost we almost fluffed our line straight away. So glad we did not do that. Uh, I'm gonna bring this back as well. Because I've learnt that building too far forward is also not helpful. Like too far that way is not gonna be helpful in the long run either. Perfect! Okay, we're in. Now, let's start building some ways to restore this planet. Don't have any iron. So the way the terraformation index works is it goes off a few things. The first one is pressure, uh, which you get from drilling. Aha. We have started the pressure train. The next one is oxygen. So you want to generate oxygen back into the planet. And you want to generate heat. So those are kind of the three main things. You then get onto uh, like biomass and like a couple of other things. But the main things you start with are heat, oxygen, and pressure. And you can kind of also see that in the top right. The terraformation index has started. 
So we are on our way to terraforming this planet. What else do I need for this? Oh, I didn't even get a silicon. The key is to... Uh, what do I need? Oh, I need an ice and a silicon. The key to this is to basically, like, the more it's terraformed, the more you will discover, essentially. So, like, the the more... It's one of those games where, like, your tier one will be... Tier one drill will become a tier two drill after enough terraforming. Your tier two drill will become a tier three, all the way up to, like, tier six. Uh, so this starts our oxygen, so you can see the plus 15 there for oxygen. And the terraformation index will climb a bit quicker. And then this is a crafting station, so I'm going to need one more silicon... And then I can get an exoskeleton. Which just means I can have more things going on at once. So that's kind of how that works. Drink water. So to begin with, you need to pick up ice to transform into water. But eventually what will happen is you will get the ability to drink out of the water that you kind of terraform. Okay, this, this. And then you can see that we have multiple more slots going on. Uh, silicon and magnesium. I would like a torch because when you go and discover wrecks like this one over there, it is very dark inside and you need a torch. But we're gonna, we're gonna get to that point. There's no rush. Well, there is a rush if I don't want this series to last about 10 million years. Uh, okay. So. Like, I really like how the building locks. It never used to do that uh, when I first started playing, and that was, like, that was a real tough time. <laughs> it, was a real, it was real difficult when it didn't lock together. So as you can see by the thing at the bottom... Once you have progressed far enough down the tracks, you start to be able to unlock different recipes. Um, so, for example, you get bigger oxygen tanks so you can stay outside for longer. It's kind of like very similar in, in that kind of vein where like it rewards you for going further along the, the tracks and kind of working together. And same as before, you need like uh, the one to get the other one. So like it requires a tier one. But you can see I went from 100 oxygen to 145 oxygen and now I'm on 200 oxygen. So we moving and grooving. Uh, right, now I need to build a table. So what I'm also gonna do is I'm actually gonna be venturing back down there in a second, but I just want to be able to craft my starting things. What does it need? Iron, cobalt, silicon, iron, silicon, iron, silicon, magnesium. Gonna need you. Gonna need you. You. I'm gonna need some silicon, baby. Here we go. Anymore. So, at the start, it's kind of just like working out... It's kind of just working out what you need to build uh, to kind of get off to a good start. And for me, getting off to a good start is kind of going through the first steps as quickly as possible, but also laying down some drills. I've got the seed oxygen planted. But the next thing I need to do is go and get some iridium so that we can do a little bit of heat. Uh, right, desktop. Funny thing is, is I don't usually change my base positioning that much. So, like, pretty much every time I've played, I build my base in the same spot. Oh, and we've run out of power. Oh, I don't even have a silicon. Oh, oh. Captain Hawkins, yo-yo, thanks for doing the update videos. I enjoyed watching them. Mate, no worries. I was also really terrible at keeping up to date with them. Did my power turn back on? Yeah. 
I, uh, yeah. I like the, I like behind a few updates. Uh, but now we're all 1.0, we're gonna do a Let's Play. So we can just talk about it as we go. Uh, I'm gonna need you. You. Because, like, I haven't really played through, like, the endings and stuff, honestly. So this is kind of, like, also my my first time uh, <laughs> trying, to, trying to work through this as well. But, uh... Usually it would have started Meteor Shower by now, but... Apparently, it does not want to do that. But I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, for following along. I am so excited to do this Let's Play. Alright. So this basically is the Terraformation Index, for those that don't know. As you can see, oxygen, ticking along, heat, not doing anything, pressure, ticking along about four times as fast as oxygen. Then you get the Terraformation Index. This is the power. So as you can see, I'm almost at, like, I'm almost out of reserve power. And then this is like all of the lines of updates. So this one says heat and this one says pressure. Uh, so you have a total terraformation index and then you have a specific one for oxygen, for heat and for pressure. And I have a blueprint. So I'm going to do that, which is going to give me tier one agility boots, which I cannot get yet. And I can build a storage crate. Storage is like the most insane thing in this game. Like... Just like it is for stuff like Minecraft as well, right? Like, you can just... You... There's so many things. <laughs> there's so many things that you can do. Uh, right, I'm gonna build this and this and that, because that should be what I want. Interesting game seems relaxing. VL, welcome in. Yeah, it is, uh, it is quite relaxing. Okay, perfect. Do this... It's definitely one of those games that's, uh... Oh, I got an achievement. Craft 10 items. Brand new achievements. Uh, yeah, it's definitely one of those games that's like, it feels, uh, it feels pretty relaxing. Oh, I should build the tier 2 backpack first. It also is one of those that can get, like, really, uh, insane... Like, you get insanely distracted when you're like, oh, I need to go explore this area, but actually I'm going to go here first, but then, oh, I just unlocked this new thing that I should try, so maybe I should do that, but then, but actually I want to go over here and do this, and then you just get completely lost. So, we're going to have fun in a Let's Play where we, we kind of go through and we see, uh, yeah, we just see where it takes us, right? And, and I'm not planning to rush this at all, like... I'm probably going to do a few recording sessions a week and then release it, like, drip feed it, kind of... 20 minute, 30 minute episodes. Uh, tier 2 backpack, baby. We have space. Okay, we have space. This is good. Space. I uh, want to build another drill. It's like very, it's got very good like economy management vibes going on. Because eventually, like, the solar power that you can get is, like, the solar panels, for example, are way better than your wind turbines. So you, like, destroy all your wind turbines, and then you make a couple of solar panels. And then you get tier 2 solar panels, so you destroy all of your uh, tier 1 solar panels, and you make tier 2. So you basically just, like, wipe and do, wipe and do. At first, I thought it was horror, but after I saw a search, I saw it would look friendly, I guess, as you evolve. Yeah, for sure. There are no enemies in this game. Just flat out. There are no enemies in this game. So. And you can deconstruct uh, boxes and you get one iron. Which is quite handy. Oh, here we go. This, my friends, is a meteor storm. Should be a meteor storm anyway. Can I take everything? No. Mm. Is this a meteor storm? 
I guess not. Oh. Uh, I'm going to put some food back in there. Uh, the same place is going to grow trees, correct. So actually, uh, I won't spoil it too much, but this, uh, there's a reason you don't build down here and I build, like, over there. Uh, very good reason why I do that. But yes, uh, like, as you go through, there'll be different biomes. So there's, like, an aluminium biome, there's, like, an iridium cave... Uh, where are we? Nope, oh, this way. And then we have these things. But there's basically like uh, like loads of biomes all over. There's like a volcano biome that has lava and all that kind of stuff. But this is a golden crate. I'm gonna yoink that. I'm gonna yoink that. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come back here and uh, and grab this stuff later because that's kind of important. But uh, golden crates give you the good things, including a heater. I have, there's one piece of iridium in there, which I need to build a heater. So we're going to grab that. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, okay. No, I'm actually in a really good place in terms of, I have a lot of iron and titanium, so I can build a lot of drills quite quickly. What's for a veggie tube? I need ice. <clears throat> but the golden chests are like super rare. And one thing they all have in them is a 600% oxygen seed. So like whatever you would generate, it's 600% of that. So they are super valuable early on to get one in because it just basically just explodes your oxygen production like right off the charts. And there's one that's, you know, right on the back wall. So it's super close. Then there's another one, uh, there's another two actually close by that I can show you as well. The first time I played, I found myself with a base in the water after I decided to explore the map a bit. Yep, that happens. That's why I build up here, because I also have the same thing. Okay, we're going to not sub you out yet. We're going to build a heater. Okay, now we've got some heat. Sub you out for one of you. We're going to get some ice, because I know there's one right here was one right here also that's the other thing is like the where'd it go there was a piece of ice like right here got robbed uh but yes there's uh <laughs> scammed there's um i was gonna say i'll put you in there and then we're going to do a little bit of building What's next for me? Uh, like, look how fast my terraforming is going up, though. Like, it's flying now. But yeah, there's two more golden chests I can show you as well. Which I'm also going to go get pretty early on. Uh, we're going to put this here. We're going to put this here. We're going to put this not there. We're going to build another wind turbine. Okay, we are we are rocking and rolling right now. I want to build another veggie tube. I need an ice and a magnesium. I have plenty enough iron. I'm gonna grab a magnesium, a titanium, silicon, ice, titanium, iron. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of start this base going. Uh, and then I'm going to collect the golden chest. I'm going to show you another little bit. And then we might even explore a wreck, depending on how long it takes me to do this. I want another veggie tube. I'm going to need another iridium. And then I want to... Wait, how many can I build? One. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah. The given where you start, the developer, yeah, like Bryce and, uh, is it Emily? It's family. Uh, it's definitely 100% uh, there to, uh, to surprise you. Like, you're like, oh my god, I'm doing so well. I'm drowning. Uh, yeah. Right. 
Tier 1 solar panels, baby. That's what we like. So I'm actually going to go super long. And then go like super deep as well. But first, we need to drink some water, we need to eat some food, and then we need to go about building some tier 1 solar panels. Two cobalts and a silicon. Hmm, that's a problem. Two cobalts and a silicon. Cobalt. I need one more cobalt at least. And one more silicon. But this is it, like, so this is already I'm at the point where, like, all of these wind turbines I've set up, I need to basically kill them all and build tier one solar panels in their place. Which is kind of nice that it's happening after less than 20 minutes, or less than half an hour. Because you can start relatively... Quickly. Okay, so what's going to be next? Nope. See, look, I've like more than, like, I have so much spare energy now. Like, it's actually, uh, it's actually crazy how much spare energy I have. Doo -doo. I also realize I forgot to do something quite important. Bear with me, please, operator. Does it have a story? Uh, there is there is actually a bit of a story now. So there's like a bunch of lore that you you kind of follow, uh, but there is like uh, an end game uh, and an, like an ability to to kind of get there. So yeah, there is there is kind of a story now, but it's mainly just like you follow lore and then you can you can get to the end. So you you yeah, there are multiple endings as well. Which is pretty sweet. Like, I haven't, uh, I don't actually know what any of them are. Because I haven't played, uh, I haven't actually played the endings. So, we're going to find out together. Which is going to be fun. Uh, Gonna cut this part out in uh, post editing, I think. <laughs> oh, okay, I think that's it. Right. Yeah, there's 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 a bunch of lore that you can uh, you can follow along with. I know I get tier two drill. I'm close. Mm, tier two veggie tubes a while away. Tier three backpacks a while away. All right, let's go do some things. Do, 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 do. But yeah, VL, there's quite a deep lore to it now. Um, also, I'm wondering if. 
My stream elements, for some reason, doesn't work. Oh, there it does. Oh, it does work. There you go. My, my like, YouTube stream elements, for some reason, was, was having a moment earlier. But uh, now it's working, so we're all good. Right, I'm going to go get the rest of that golden chest. Also, I've never spawned this far back. You used to only have one spawn point, which was, like, over behind that hill. And now you have, uh, now you have some more... Now you have some more spawn points. Including this one. There's one that's like up over there. Oh, the kobold. That's handy. I got a flashlight in here as well, so I can press F. And thankfully they added like a bunch more flashlights. So you can you can see a lot more. Ooh, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to take all that. thing I really need, though, is I need more iridium. I need my heat generation to go faster. But yeah, 100%, uh, Gabby, it was uh, definitely planned to be like, oh, you're terraforming things, like, congratulations, and then just like, in the water. Uh, mm, tier 2 drill. This can make things go a bit quicker. Now, where's the other chest? There it is. Da, 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 da. Oh, I want this. I want that. I want to eat that. This. That. This. This. Uh, that. Um. So, like, when you start, like, this is the standard spawning location, and this is probably the most advantageous one in the fact that you have all the initial materials that you'll need. Uh, might as well take some food. Uh, you have all the initial materials that you'll need. Like, you can spawn in one of the, like, better spots, but it's not... Like, you can see, like, all the materials are just, like, laying here super easily. But in the other spots, they're not... Like, you have to go searching a bit more. I did a random start, and I spawned kind of, like, just a bit, like, up over there somewhere. Like, quite a quite a little bit over the hill. Um, and it was a struggle to find, like, iron and titanium. So, this is, like, the kind of beginner spot because it's easier. Uh, but you can definitely do, like harder starting spots but for the next play i just wanted to do like a like a normal one okay need to be some, build some tier two drills Kapow. uh right control click will move everything that's like the same uh like material uh that, this. What do I need for tier two drills? Double titanium. Okay, that's gonna be a bit annoying. So move that, move this, bring this, and then. Uh, yeah, and if something's too big for your inventory, it just falls out, which is kind of handy. We've run out of power, governor. Uh, two kobolds and a silicon. Okay, I need to go find a silicon. There you go. I made like five tier two drills, so this is going to go a lot quicker when I have power. Yeah, like I guess I guess this is the most just purely advantageous because of like the ease of the starting like materials. But like once you get going, you then need to go and find everything which takes more time. Basically. Uh with that terraforming score on the right, you unlock things. Uh, yeah, so that's what this is. 
So let me just hide this real quick. Uh, you can see terraformation, oxygen, heat, and pressure. So you need to build, like, you need to have all three of oxygen, heat, and pressure going up to unlock more things. Which will allow you to unlock better stuff. So, like, the veggie tube, I need it to be, like, double what it is to be able to get... I need the heat to be double what it is to unlock a better veggie tube to increase my oxygen. But then my oxygen gives me better heaters and more oxygen tanks and food growers. And my pressure just kind of gives me more, like, power and more drills. So, like, you've kind of got to, like, go along all of the tracks to help the other tracks, basically. So they're all interconnected. Tier 3 backpack. Two aluminiums, aluminiums, and a silicon. Let's go get another silicon. Sil yeah, see, silicon is like the thing I run short of, like, very quickly. So I started with eight slots, and then... I'm now at, like, 24 slots. So I have way more space. Um, right. I've never used an outdoor lamp, actually. I just did not see the point. You can do beds, you can do tables, you can kind of do all this stuff that I that I never bother with, to be honest. Uh, right, let's go get some more of my materials. Because, like, the thing that you want to do to start with is you kind of want to move all of the materials over to your base from your start point. It's going to help you in the long run. Also, if you want to win a copy, exclamation mark giveaway, go to Twitter. Uh, you got to follow me and Miju Games, who, who made this. Like and retweet and tag a friend. Two copies to win. Uh, one per winner. Uh, yeah, you can win a copy for yourself. You can find a friend because this is now co-op. So you can play with friends and have multiple people play. Which uh, I can tell you makes this go a lot quicker. I was playing with someone on the weekend, and I think we went from start to, like, having a fairly healthy base inside half hour. Because when there's two of you, you just accelerate this process, like, tenfold. Which is, uh, which is rather nice. So we're going to go over here. We're going to get this chest, and then we're going to go over there and get, like, the chest over there. Because I know there is one over there somewhere. And then we might go uh, explore a wreck as well. Let's see what we can find. Was this the same chest? Yes. Let's get back over here. I know there's a starting chest near the starting spawn. So we're going to go over there. We're going to have a look. It's somewhere over there. Like I said, it used to spawn over there. So there's also, uh, I'll show you when we get up to the wreck, but there's also things that are like locked off until you get a high enough terraformation level. Indoor ladder. Verticality. So there's like certain areas of this planet that are like locked behind ice, for example. So you need to heat your planet or you need to get to a high enough terraformation level that the ice starts to melt. And then you get access to new areas. So it also kind of builds that way at those. So you you kind of like the more that you build, the better access you get to places to help you terraform faster as well. Is there not another one over here? Oh, there's another one like way back there, isn't there? So this is where I usually started, like right here. That's all the chests that are down there, though. I played... Simple Boy! I played one year ago, I think. I gave up because I couldn't find resources like Uranium and Iridium. I used it all. Yep, that's fair enough. So, Iridium uh, you get from the Golden Chests and the Iridium Cave. And then the, the Uranium you also get out of caves. I have a YouTube video, actually, Simple Boy. If you go through my videos, there'll be one uh, called, like, Iranium and Iridium Locations or something, which uh, which tells you where to find all the things. So hopefully that helps. Uh, 
Um, let's put a few more drills, shall we? Oh. Every time. Yeah, the Iridium Cave is right there. Like, under that kind of cool-looking, like, little funky waterfall thing. That's where you find all the Iridium. Hmm, need more iron. And the, uh, the Uranium is, yeah, a little further away. It's, like, over in that direction. We can go visit at some point. Might need to be a bit later. Or you just open the golden chests. Also, uh, also a video I made. Uh, if you open golden chests, they usually have uh, iridium in them. That's how I found my first one. When you played, there was only one cave, and now the map is gigantic. It sure is. It is really big now. Ah, communications antenna. I need to build that. Because that's important for the story. Um, oh, I need an aluminium. I have that somewhere. I also need to build an indoor ladder using a cobalt. Tier two veggie tube. All right, now we're uh, now we're starting to rock and roll. Now we're starting to go places. Right, uh, indoor ladder. Of course, I've run out of power. <sighs> Ugh. Need more power. What's for the transmission screen? Okay, well, we can build that already. Two iron. I'm gonna build another desk. Transmission screen. And then what do I need? Oh, everything. <laughs> One cobalt. This is like a problem you run into quite quickly. Is uh you need more power to do all the things. Alright, I have power again. So we should at some point. This is an automated message to convict GP8971L. You have chosen to have your sentence commuted to an extradition. To get all of the charges against you dropped, you must fully terraform this planet. Our sensors will periodically scan your progress and send you the required blueprints. Do not cry to contact Sentinel Corps. If our center sensors do not detect any advancement in the terraformation process, you will be considered missing and the charges will not be dropped. You cannot claim ownership or value over anything on the planet. You're only allowed to use the resources found on the planet to increase the terraformation index. You are not allowed to leave the planet until the terraformation is complete. Message from Riley. Hello, I finally managed to locate the system they sent you to. I don't have much time, but I'll try to give you some advice. The success rate for planet crafters is very low because it is almost an impossible task. You should find space food in your pod and maybe in space wrecks. You'll be able to grow when you grow food when you meet the correct requirements. So try to find some vegetable seeds. Exploration and improvements are essential. Explore and improve your equipment to increase your chances of survival. I hope this message reaches you. Yeah, so there is some part of the story. Uh, the story is you got dropped on a planet. And uh, you have to terraform it to make it work. Is this iron and silicon? No, we need silicon on it. Buggy. Oh, gotta get some silicon. Uh, so there is some story, and like uh, we'll keep receiving emails. Yeah, essentially the back the backstory is I always forget the backstory actually. 
But the back until I get that email. The backstory is that uh, you're a prisoner, and I think I can show you. This is what we look like. Property of Sentinel Corp. Oh, you can actually. Yeah, you can uh, move around yourself. Yes, yeah, so you're essentially a property of a corporation. And uh, you've decided, I don't want to go to prison. I want to be dropped on a random planet and terraforming. Ooh, that was a lot of aluminium out of a normal crate. Love that. It's like, that's the sentence that you chose for yourself. So at some point, basically, you, you terraform the planet enough that you don't need oxygen. So you can just run around freely. Uh, you eventually get like a drinking filter thing where you can like just drink from puddles of water. So that kind of solves itself. Uh, right. We're going to make this. We're going to drink that. Then we're going to disassemble this. Make it tier two. Okay, so oxygen is shooting up. We still have a very big heat problem. Problem being we're not really generating enough. How many more tier two drills can I spam before it's gonna hate me? Apparently one. <laughs> Sad. Ah, man, what do I need? Silicon and two more cobalt. You, uh, you stay single the whole game. You're a single man. Unless you play co-op. And then uh, you can have friends come and play. I played for about 30 hours and didn't realize you were a prisoner. You thought you were hired. In Satisfactory, you're hired. In, uh, in Planet Crafter, you are a prisoner. You do, you do get, like, fun emotes, though. They added those emotes, like, not that long ago. Good fun, those. So, no, you don't, you don't see anyone. Like, you are just a, a single prisoner on a random planet that you just get dunked on to go and uh, terraform it. So you get to get off, and uh, the company gets a terraformed planet. Like, that's a that's win-win a for, for everybody, as long as you don't die. Well, that's taking a lot of power. But my terraformation index is climbing pretty quickly. So that's nice. Uh, magnesium. I want to get some titanium. Because we're going to build our base a little bit bigger. And we're going to go exploring. There's a couple of things I need to go. Oh, tier two heater, which would be great if I had more than one iridium. <laughs> Alas, I do not. So we have problems. That's essentially what it is. Like you get to terraform a planet or you die trying. That's, uh, that's your options, basically. Uh, okay, right. Let's see, what should I do? This is... So I need two iron and a titanium. Two iron and a titanium. I'm gonna go get another golden chest. Uh, because I need... I need Iridium so bad. So bad. I need Iridium so bad. Also, for those you don't know, it is a Twitch and YouTube multi-stream. Uh, if you're not following me on one, please 
Feel free to go do that. You sub on YouTube and you follow on Twitch. Just to confuse people. And then you sub on YouTube, or you sub on Twitch and you become a member on YouTube. Just, you know, because. I got her another one. This is what we like. What do I need for this? Okay, just one more room. Perfect. I now have another 600% seed. That's gonna increase my oxygen. You have to get to 175,000 to begin blue sky. And I am on 11k. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Do, 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 do. Seems you can clip through the wall. That's a bit dodge. All right. So you can see, like, this does 0.3 and this does 4.5. So it's what, like 12 times quicker? Like 14 times quicker? Yeah, you can see my heat index, like, ping! Progress screen is at 2. We'll go there pretty quick. I can, uh, but I also need, like... Oh, you out, put you in. See it grow. 600%. I bought another one. Two ice and magnesium. So, like, I could. Oh. Uh, but. Like, I actually. Like, it's a bit treacherous to go that far. So, like, even though it's just in there, like, I need to kind of have enough materials to build up a home first. And that's probably, honestly, where I will go and, like,. In a sec, but I also want to do a little bit of other stuff first. I want to see if I can find some fabric in the ship. Because then I can make some agility boots. Some agility boots. And agility boots are very handy because you move a hell of a lot quicker. These things. But you need fabric. And fabric you can only find in ships. So I need one more iron, and then I am Gucci. Do that. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna go this way. So, next stop, secret cave. And then, we're probably gonna go over to that wreck up there. Or we might just go to the wreck in front of us, actually. Might be a bit easier. But I do need to go over to that wreck because that has another golden chest. And I want another 600% seed. New message. Popular. So to be able to find this, by the way, you uh, go to this wall. Hmm. And you can see there's a divot. You select the deconstructor and then it gets an outline. Deconstruct, and we're in. So there are more ships, so the story, more prisoners. Yeah, here's one. So I'm 52, oh, 0520230. Oh, it's the same helmet number. Uh, you sent me here to die. You knew it was impossible. You don't care. All you care about is profit and colonization. Whoever thought this was a good idea should go to hell. A pardon was never part of the plan. Be cursed, Sentinel Corp. Giodan. And this dude has a lot of good stuff. But I'm going to run low on oxygen. So let me build this and this. I mean, look at all these tasty things. Mm -mm -mm. Blueprints. We got some food. We got seeds. We got uh, pulsar quartz. Ooh, love that. Don't need that till later, though, to be honest. Uh, we're going to grow. This. What can I leave here? This, this. Okay. okay. We're going to have to come back here. So, I'm just going to... Well, maybe I can do this. Hold on. Yeah. We're going to uh, we're gonna drop this stuff back at base, and then we're going to come back here. 
But we can also craft a bigger oxygen tank. But like that secret thing is like crazy because that pulsar quartz we need like way later. Super alloy, also you need like relatively later, like not super right now. Um, but yeah, there's also like three blueprints in there. Uh, what are the chances of finding this without a tutorial? It's really cool that there are secrets. Without a tutorial, quite difficult. Um, I think I stumbled on it somehow. I don't even know how, honestly. Uh, and then you have Dakota blue chip. Microchip. Mining speed. That's good. Tier 2 mining speed. Better. Tier 2 agility boots. Okay. We're not quite there yet. Uh, progress. Now oh, we've got another message. Identification. Your planet specifications. Identification unknown. Corporation ownership unclaimed. Habitability level null. Sector Isitial Prime. History unknown. Planet unnamed is located in the Isital Prime Sector, a pre-civilization sector crossed mostly by trade ships traveling between big spaceports. The sector has 842 planets, 13,511 stars, and is 7,000 parsecs wide. The planet has been identified as a possible candidate for future colonization. Hmm. And now we're here. And I don't have any silicon. Silicon is like the bane of my existence. Food. And super boy. Uh... What do I need for the oxygen tank? Iron, titanium, silicon, magnesium, aluminium. Titanium and silicon. I don't think I have to do with those. All right, titanium. Double bed. And silicon. All right, need a bit of iron, always need that. Oh, I need another silicon as well, don't I? Yeah, I'm actually relatively close to this ship. Let's just grab some extra mats that I know I'm going to need. So yeah, we're kind of, uh, we're puttering along quite nicely. For just over an hour. It's been, uh, it's been pretty good. But yeah, the way this is going to work. Oh wait, hold on, let me. Right, what do I need for the progress screen? Another silicon and a cobalt. There's the cobalt. Let's get two silicon. So, I need two silicons. Hello. Oh, there you are. Perfect. Yeah, so what we're going to do in a sec is we're going to go visit that wreck. But basically, the, the agility boots are, like, super key because you move so much faster with them. 
And what you can do eventually is you start getting like automated drills so you don't need to run around and do all this stuff. You can just like drill in a place and it will pull up resources for you. But let me craft this progress screen. What are my energy levels like? Ah, bugger. Well, my power's about to die again. Yeah. What do I need for a food grower? Aluminium and a water bottle. And so far, ran so far away. Right, the fact that I'm growing my own food inside an hour is exceptional for me. That never usually happens that quick. Uh, don't think any of this stuff has what I need. Nope. Yes, yes. Oh, I can build tier two ones now. What do I need instead? Magnesium and aluminium. Ba -ba -ba. That's not exactly exciting that I did not get my power back from that. Crap. I am too cobalt. DB Gaming, mate, thank you for coming in. Work and lurk, all good, brother. All good. What do you do for work? And appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah. What was the other thing I needed? An iron. Iron. The Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, here we go. Time for a meteor shower. Ooh, heck yes. Love that. Ah, that's reasonably far away. Oh, that's reasonably close. I think this is just the new... Like, I think this is just new stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Love that. Love that. Co-op. Co-op is going to make things so much fun. Uh, I don't have any lights on because I don't have any power. Really? How much power am I down? Oh my god, I'm down so much power. Oh! Lol. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. <sighs> okay. So that's kind of frustrating. Alright. Oh, we're going to have to... Nope. Hey. Get out of the... Now I have now I have some power back. Uh, what dropped? Oh yeah, nice. So there are like meteors that just drop like basic resources, like this one. Uh, one crashed over here as well. And eventually, like the debris will disappear, but the resource again. Ah, perfect. An aluminium. A se really? So soon? Like double meteor crash? Oh mate, I mean, look, if you're gonna drop aluminium on my head, who, who, who am I to say no? Oh, that's, that's bizarre. It's not usually two in a row.
Okay, well. Sure. I'll take more meteors. No worries. Here we go. Right. This is the terraformation stage. This shows you kind of how close you are to the next stage. 20% uh, and rapidly growing. Uh, right. My food is growing. That's good. Drink the water. Got a bit more aluminium. 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 Uh, right. We can build another food grower. Oh, look at all the aluminium that just dropped, like, right on my doorstep. Oh, love that. I don't love how fragile my energy is, though. Right, this should make things a little bit better. Oh, I ran so far away. Okay. So, this should do my energy for a little bit. Uh, space food. All right. Anything else? Okay, now I have loads of energy. That's good. Two, three oxygen tank. We're about halfway there. Don't really care about that. We're about halfway there. And then nuclear power, baby. I really care about this. The tier two locker storage is like, oh, such a game changer. Do I even have any? No. Right. The tier, oh, like the tier, mm, the tier two locker storage is just so goated. Like, like the biggest thing to aim for being able to get tier two storage is like amazeballs because it just it gives you so many options and then what i like to do is i like to have like i might even go up and do like a second layer as well but i like to have just this entire thing where like all the way around the outside is just lockers and then everything is labeled and it's just mwah, oh. It's fucking dark. You're coming with me. Should be another chest over here. So this is like the way to a new area as well. Um, but I'm not quite ready to go all that way. I'm just going to grab this chest. Like the way I always do it is I carry enough that I can... Uh... Oh man. Way... I guess I'm just leaving that there. I need two titaniums to make this work. Okay, so here's the new and slightly annoying plan. Is to go back, and then I have to go back again to get all that stuff, and then I'm gonna go over to that wreck and we're gonna we're gonna pillage some things. We're gonna pillage some stuff. And some doodads. And we're gonna get some fabric so that we can move faster than this. 
Because, dear God, this feels slow. Also, later on, you get a jetpack so you can fly around the map. Oh, that's just so much easier. I think I now have enough iridium for another tier two heater. So we're making sweet, sweet progress. Like a million bits of power. I can imagine with like five people in a save, it's going to be like crazy quick to do as well. Uh, where's the iridium? It's here. So my heat is lagging behind and my pressure is lagging behind. What's it going to take for another food grower? An aluminium and a water bottle. Don't think I have those things. Ah, titanium. How much does a drill take? Five? Oh, okay. Well, we got plenty of room for that. You got a drill. You got a drill. You get a drill. Okay. Some more drills. <laughs> you can also get, eventually you can get like f two by two. So you remove this middle pole as well. Ah, space. Space. Um. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I need ice. So I'm gonna go back down there. I'm gonna pick up my thing, and then we're gonna go look at that right. I believe I'm about to get to lockers. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to work out my locker solution as well. Oh, that's a bit too risky. Is it though? Yeah, so I gotta work out my locker solution because it becomes too iron. But like... I wanna have a locker solution that works. So what I'm thinking, that's why there's a look of pain, um, I'm thinking, what can I, what should I do? So I would like to like pre-do my storage. Guess I make like two lockers first for each, like two for iron, two for cobalt, two for magnesium. And we have like an iridium and uranium and then a super alloy quartz. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of iron. Uh, probably should have walked in there first. Oxygen. All right, let us go take on this. Wreck. So the way I like to do my wrecks need some iron for this is basically I just go back and forward getting everything out of the wreck and then once I have everything out of the wreck 
I just ferry it back to base in multiple trips, which is why I need to set up my locker solution, because there's going to be a lot of stuff. But I can also show you part of what I was talking about earlier, where you get cut off from certain portions. Also, it's funny, like, the thing with the wide open door, the capsule with, like, the wide open door is like, sure, have some oxygen. Like, you, you do you. Just get in there. Have some oxygen, baby. Do, do, do. Yes, this is going to be number one of the Let's Plays. So we're going to go through. Uh, we might run some polls and do some interaction-y stuff and, and all that stuff as we kind of go. Oh, yeah, shit. I forgot about that one. That's annoying. I'm not going to be able to destroy it either, am I? That's fine. We can just build multiple lockers. I would love to. I mean, in the next... It's probably going to go on for a couple of hours, just to make the first one, like... The first one's going to be, like, super long, but then the rest of them are going to be, like, chunks. All right, let's build a living compartment. Sure you can get in the door, James. That would be helpful. Oh, it's three iron. Shoot. I'm gonna go back down here for two seconds. I thought lockers were two iron. Man, I'm out of practice. I think they were two iron, but I think they became three iron because, like, they are so important and such a massive long-term solution. Struck to you. So yeah, you can see this is where uh, a satellite crashed. And there are wrecks kind of like all over the planet, right? Like you saw one in front of me. There's, there's so many. Which is really nice because most of them you also get too late and they have chests in them so they can actually be really rewarding the kind of things that you get out of them. So that's also very nice. Uh, right, another locker. Right. Blueprint. Right, let's go show you the golden chest. So, a couple things. Firstly, this. This is ice, and there's some very, like, fancy stuff in here. You can see, like, the shining minerals. But as you can see, it starts melting at 100 NK. So you have to heat the planet enough that it starts to melt. That's basically how that works. I need an iron and a silicon. So once you've heated the planet enough, the ice starts to melt. And then you can uh, access some more areas. So that's kind of like what you were saying, VL. Like you need to you need to concentrate on like all the things at the same time. You can't just like do pressure all. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Another golden chest up here. Yoink. Take you. And if I were to be so sneaky, can I make... I need two ice and a magnesium. I wonder. Is there any ice up here? Or do I have to go... Look at. Well, I mean, there's a shitload of ice over there. There's no ice that I can effectively yoink. Uh, okay. Also, the meteor showers are quite localized. So, what will happen is you'll. Is you'll start to uh, experience that the they just like start to come down extremely like where you're standing. Uh, all right, let's go explore this wreck. It's wreck time. Fabric.
Make a whole tier one heater's worth of materials. These little chests always do blueprints and give you an iron. So it's a blueprint basically and a free iron. Very handy. Ooh, tier three veggie tube. Debris always gives you one iron. Uh, what bottle? Drink. You need a tier two deconstruction chip and then these will give you circuit boards. A brick. Okay. Alright. Pass number one done. Mm. Iron and a silicon. Compass. Okay. Nice. Handy. Uh, tier 2 craft station. What do I need for a compass? Silicon, magnesium, double aluminium. Silicon, magnesium, double aluminium. Where's the... Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> I was like, why is there never any magnesium when you need it? Hello. Okay. Yeah, they just released the full soundtrack today as well, actually. Uh, compass. Hey. Titanium, silicon, double magnesium, aluminium. Ew. Wait, don't I have aluminium double fabric? Yeah. Nice. Uh, tier one agility boots. And then I need double super alloy... What do I need for this again? Titanium, silicon, magnesium, magnesium. So I'm going to ditch the compass. Put on some boots. Oh! Mew. I'm so fast. Yeah, you get a 15% speed buff. I'm sure you could deconstruct this part. Ba -ba 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 like this, do that. Need one more piece of fabric. Uh, oh, there's plenty of fabric. So much fabric. There's also like secret parts to these ships. Like if you, I'll show you in a minute when we get around there, but. Once you get later on, you can find up ways to like open up the secrety parts. Um, fabric, fabric, super alloy, super alloy. Ooh. Yeah, we're in. We're in business. Look how much faster I am. I'm like thirty percent faster than I was when I entered this ship. This wreck. This ship. Thank you. Take a tier two heater. Remove this as well. So this is the fusion coil container. Once you put a fusion coil in there, it'll uh, open up parts of the ship. And the fusion coil is something you can make uh, way later. Hold on, we'll read that in one second. I need to... A blueprint there, and there's a blueprint here. <sighs> Cargo ship Sorella 4, machinery log number 436. This morning, on the 17th day of space travel to Stigma, the ship inexplicably exited hyperspace velocity, the navigation tools went crazy, and the ship lost power as if it had been drained by some exterior thing. Mm. We're going to try and make an emergency landing on this unreported planet. I'm not sure what we'll find. There seems to be a huge storm on the surface of this planet. I hope we make it. The year 3021. Dun dun. dun, 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 dun. I need 
base. What do we got? Tier 3 mining speed. Living compartment corner. Ooh, nice. Recycling machine. Handy. Tier 1 GPS satellite. Hmm. Very nice. What's tier 3 mining speed? Silicon aluminium super alloy. Aluminium. Don't have a silicon. Oh, I don't have any super alloy actually, is there? It's a problem there. Alright. Zip through here. Oh, I'm so fast. Yes. You ain't cool this. You ain't cool this. But you can see like how much. Uh, you can see how much, like iridium I have, just from going through here. So you know I'm gonna need some more. More power. All right. I think I need fabric for anything. I'm gonna go with lots of iridium. All right, now we go all the way back to the ship and we do like three or four trips. And that's kind of the way it works. <laughs> now you just, like every time you go visit a ship, you then have to like ferry everything back. But thankfully I have tier 2 agility boots, so I move significantly quicker. My little tiny base. Oh, my closet tiny base. This is, this is where greed comes in, by the way. Chat. When you try to go for something. Oh. Oh. food. Um, kidding me, I have no titanium. Okay. Uh, right, what are we going to do here? That one in there. That's full. Right, we're going to get some titanium. We're going to build some more compartments. Doo -doo -doo. And then what we're going to do after we build more compartments is we're going to build some lockers. Then we're going to be able to store everything. Because kind of the thing as well is to deconstruct that whole place is going to be like a full trip of a backpack in itself. That's the kind of crazy part. Another three more. Oh, I think three more is enough. Yeah, yeah. Perfect.
Uh, right, let's start with that. Don't tell me I'm um, what oh I might actually know this. No. Okay, well we almost nailed it. Pretty reasonable for a first go. Uh, what do I need here? Two iridium, a titanium, and aluminium. Two iridium, titanium, and aluminium. Still thing I need? An iron and a silicon. So I need one more iron. Oh, I'm so happy with how fast I move. But there's also a great big battleship over there, you can see. Nope. Nope. I'm just going to get out of here. Collect all the things. Then we can go back and get the other ship and we'll be alright. I can get it on the way back. I gotta go to the other place like five times anyway. My little heat hub, uh, that's what I like to call it. Wait, do I actually have enough? Oh, I need a titanium. Sad. Oh, that's okay. We can go get one of those. Uh, titanium. Make sure I have some water. Okay. So now this should put my heat, like, properly on track. I can build a tier 3 tube as well, can't I? I need more silicon to be able to do that, though. That's going to really make my life a lot easier as well. Here we go. Because you kind of forget about the things that you can do as well. Uh, water bottle, magnesium. Now oh, I'm going to need another piece of ice then. Another chest. Oh, I do not have space. It's always one of those things where you're just eventually gonna always run out of space. Which is why they allow for like bigger and bigger backpacks. Tier 3 drill, eh?
Ah, yes. Oh. No way. No shot. Do I have no more? Oh, I do. Uh, right, I need better seeds. 300, 200, 150. Okay, I have no aluminium to build these things. What about another food grower? Nope. Recycling machine, tier 3 drill. No, I need more aluminium for, like, everything here. Hmm. Okay. Let me find two more bits of iron. Let me go to that chest. But do you see what I mean? Like how easy it is to get distracted because I still have to go back to that other ship like five times and pick up like a whole bunch of stuff. But I get distracted by the ability because I can do all these other things. But look at my terraformation index. Now I have those two like tier three planters and then the... Oh my God, there's like nothing in there as well. Like, now that I have the tier 3 planters, and like twice as many heat, my terraformation index is absolutely bursting. We should be... We should be getting blue sky relatively soon. Just gonna save. Now I need to seriously invest in upgrading all my power. But for example, like this is 78 PPQs a second. This is two PPQs a second, and the first one is 0.15 a second. So, like, you you just infinitely go off the charts as soon as you start getting, like, the tier three ones. And it'll be the same, like, for drills, right? Like, 0.2 pressure, 1.5 and a bit of heat, 17. So once I get some aluminium, we'll, uh, we'll really get there. But guys, I'm going to throw to a quick break. Because I need to go to the toilet. And then when we come... I'm also going to save so it doesn't go any further. Because it's almost reaching. So when I come back. We're going to be doing a little bit more. Don't go away. Get back into this. We're almost at blue sky. Which is impressive for like... An hour and 48 minutes. Alright. Can I... Ah, that's what I need to build. I need aluminium. I need a lot of aluminium, basically. I have a tier three backpack, right? I tier three, yeah, okay. Ah, right, let's go get the rest of my stuff. Let me guess. Iridium rod. Mm, okay. That's going to be a little bit further off. Also, my ice now looks blue. For some bizarre reason. <sighs> the speed increase is just... It's so nice. Like, the, the speed increase is, is so good. feels you can actually see already look the sky is is blue the sky's getting blue look at it we getting that it's not red anymore tis the blue 
Uh, right. <laughs> God. We're going to take all this, take all that, and then... Wait, do we actually find no more aluminium? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, that's not good. All right, we're just going to... Oh, we're going to take one of those. Oh, man. Because we're about to make it. We're about to make it. What is that? What is that? Just a giant amount of iridium in that planet. Oh, sorry. Ooh, baby. Advanced crafting station. Three aluminiums. <laughs> I need to like sacrifice aluminiums somewhere. I actually don't. I need to go over there afterwards because that's the place where aluminium happens. But we're in the blue sky. Look, you can see. Look, look. It's like a whole giant thing of uranium over there. There's like iridium over there. There's a third planet around here somewhere. Just see the Stargate over there. We call it the Stargate because it just looks like a giant Stargate. It's buried. Oh, baby. We at Blue Sky now. And we're well on the way to clouds. Why, well, yes, I do require a lot of storage. Thank you for checking. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, that's fair enough. Oh my god, I don't actually have any aluminium left, do I? That is a problem. Nope. Um, magnesium and two cobalts. Magnesium. I need a bunch more aluminium. Ooh, I can do this. I'm gonna start with like a five by five and then go from there. Let's go get some more. Yes. But, like, over there is an aluminium field, so I need to basically just go there with an empty, uh, empty inventory, and then just, like, vacuum up as much aluminium as I can, so then I can start building more and more things. Because, what, you need three for the advanced craft? Yeah. The advanced craft is then, like, you know, if you have, for example, I think it's eight or nine iridium, you make a rod. And then the recycling station is like, you put the rod in, you get nine iridium back. I 
have another blueprint available. Area lamp. Oh, great. Okay. We'll probably go for about another hour or so, I think, and then we'll uh, then we'll wrap it up, and then we'll start doing uh, some YouTube videos next week. I'll record some content over the weekend, and we can uh, we can get from there. Kind of in that stage where I need aluminium <laughs> to be able to really like accelerate how fast I go. But there's also like so much to explore. And I found out like there's a new thing that's like way further down the track, but you can like teleport to like procedurally generated wrecks so that you're able to get more stuff out of them. Which is pretty cool. You see, I want this because this is going to help the biomass index. Lirma, water bottle, water bottle, magnesium. Lirma seed. Oh, right. Water bottle, two water bottles, and an aluminium. I'm going to take a very quick trip. I need the ice anyway. I'm also going to grab another... Did we already grab the golden chest down here? Yeah, I think so, right? We have three golden seeds, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought I was losing my mind. Uh, we're gonna. Oh, we're gonna grab a fourth one actually. Oh, we're gonna be sneaky. I also need some aluminium. That's kind of the reason I'm here. Oh, there's one aluminium. Golden chest should be in here. Another aluminium. And we're going to find one more. And then we're going to head back. Nope. Yeah. Alright. You can see how like the lighting totally changes when you're in here as well. Is also kind of cool. Oh, I don't have enough time. <sighs> Come on to the chopper. Uh, right. I need a magnesium. Magnesium. Advanced craft station. Of course. Th 
Three super alloys and a cobalt. So, I have much more backpack space. I have much more... Oh, I don't have any aluminium. Still. It's pretty frustrating. I have much more backpack space. And I have a much bigger... What do you call it? Oxygen tank. You can craft. I'm gonna have to ditch that for a minute. <laughs> can he do it? Come. Uh, silicon and a water bottle. Silicon. So need two silicons and a magnesium. Silicon, silicon, magnesium. So I need two water bottles. This problem, right? You just get like mad distracted by doing everything else. A three ice. There's a bit of grass. And yoink. And Uh no bro. Okay, I still have an aluminium. What do I need? Um iron, magnesium, silicon, double cobalt. Iron, magnesium, silicon. Iron, magnesium, silicon, double cobalt. Iron, magnesium, silicon, double cobalt. Okay. Zhoop. Okay, we're in business. <sighs> Still got a bit of power remaining. Biomass! Oh, baby. We got biomass on the board. <clears throat> Climbing very slowly. My oxygen is like off the charts, but I need like way more pressure now. My pressure is quite behind. I don't have any tier 3 drills because they cost 2 aluminiums. Seems like a fun game, although admittedly one with the idle chatter is not as easy. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I, I also find that, that it's, like, playing this game doesn't lead to conversation as easily unless you have people talking to you in chat. Um, It's not, uh, yeah, it's not uh, as easy as, um, you know, when you're making, like, choices with your, you know, with your party or something. Or when you're playing with friends, right? Like, playing with friends, there would be, like, way more chatter going on. Like, playing this co-op, you would have, uh, you would have a lot of stuff. Oh my god, look at this. Ooh, we have a launch platform. I know the launch platform requires a lot of stuff, right? Uh, actually, not that much. I can build a launch platform already. Yes, I need to spend some time getting aluminium. Chat and friends can help, but also backfire if you also want to react to chat. Yes, that's why I have a mute button very handily placed. So I need at least one more trip. And then in the final trip, we can basically scoop everything up and then go to the aluminium field and start collecting some aluminium because I need so much. 
Nuclear reactor. I'm um, very good stream watcher. I tend to one. <laughs> Mate, that's fine. Like, does not matter. Lurking or not, always good. Ooh. Just remembered, like, Carmen's away in a couple of weeks and I still have your pie in my freezer. It's coming out. It's getting worked on. I'm also a fan of me not starving. Alright. Uh, Put that lot in there. What do I need to build a nuclear reactor? Three super alloys, two water bottles, and a uranium rod. Wait, what do I... Hold on. What do I need to build the exoskeleton? Titanium... <laughs> Was it two or three? Three, of course it was. Oh, this one. Uh, and then two water bottles, right? Yeah, okay. Did I have ice? Oh. Keep thinking I have ice, but it's uh, oxygen that I have. I store my nuclear reactors uh, where everyone should store their nuclear reactors. On the roof. Oh, look at this beauty. Oh, so much energy. Oh, look at it. Oh. Ah. Riley. May I obtain more information? I read that you have a greater chance of success if you build your base at an altitude. I'm not sure why yet. Hmm. And if you manage to heat the planet up enough, some caves should become accessible when the ice melts. And one last thing, you can... Da, 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 da. End of communication. Message intercepted. 3058. So I think that someone has been dead for like 30 years, 35 years. To whoever reach, receives this message, I'm a planet crafter sent to the Migoria 3 planet. If you receive this well, it means you are near. Maybe you're a planet crafter as well. The weather is atrocious, and I'm running out of resources. There's not enough on this barren world to terraform it. I don't know why I chose this. Death would have been more pleasant than this hell. If anyone can send me help, please do. I'm sorry, my friend. We cannot do anything. Uh, what do I need for this? And what do I need for that? I need more aluminium. How much super alloy do I have? One. One. Okay, well, it's not gonna help. Alright, let's go back to this ship one last time. One last time. Yeah, I mean, we're almost at uh, half a million. Terraformation index. Not bad. Solid start for a few hours. And we're not even at tier three drills either. That's why it's so important to get the gold chests like straight away, because if you can get those gold ones like kick started, then you can really, uh, you can really start to Kind of get your oxygen level just zipping along, and then it's uh, that is really nice, really nice. Drink some water. Mm, not melting yet. We do get that. Look, we got clouds. Whoa. 
think after clouds is water maybe oh yeah all right time to go and hunt some aluminium or if you're american aluminum Also, Sebastian, you should start watching uh, New, Ve uh, New Vegas. You should start watching Fallout. I'm actually going to go check the ship because the ship should have... More aluminium. I just need to make tier 3 drills. And then life's going to be a little bit more peachy. These tier 2 drills make life a little bit harder. Because I'm already on tier 3 heaters. I've already got a nuclear reactor. I'm on tier 3 veggie tubes. So my, my pressure is going to start falling behind. And that is a problem. Blueprint pinning. That's nice. Basically, blueprint pinning is where you can pin blueprints. It's pretty self-explanatory, to be honest. Different food. Microchips. Oh, I see another heater. We got one! Nice. Ooh. I think it doesn't actively contribute to your planet unless you deconstruct and then reconstruct. <sighs> Mapping, nice. Ah, the big living compartment. Perfect. That is very good. Uh, ah, the water collector. Uh, right, all that and that. The big living compartment is exceptionally handy. And aluminium, that's nice. More aluminium, that's really handy. I don't know where else in here I can... I could have sworn one of these walls I can deconstruct. Or I just think I'm imagining it. Let's go. I think you might actually supposed to go to this one first because it's it's quite small. All right, time to get some tier three drills. What do I need for the big living compartments? Oh, three titanium, two super alloys. Mm. Point. I gotta organize all these things as well. Uh, right. Every 
time. Always need more aluminium. Silicon, titanium, and iridium rod. Silicon, titanium, and an iridium rod. Silicon. The biomass is super slow. Because there's only one grass spreader. Oh wait, I could put stuff in here, couldn't I? Oh no, that's the flower spreader. Never mind. Uh, I needed one more super alloy, right? Yeah. One. Two. A third titanium. Okay. Then we can do some funky stuff. This is also a problem. Hawk, I may have wanted to put my base high for when the water arrives. Eh, this will be high enough. Trust. Trust the process, my friend. I got this. Uh, I guess I go with this one first. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> Stairs. Also, how are you, Hawk? Really? He wasn't high enough? Should have been, mate. Should only have a problem if you start down there. Yeah, you, you, you'd be fine if you were here. Oh, shit, I... What's up? Nah, nah, yeah, you're all good. Nah, this, uh, this place is fine. Trust. Right, now I need to... Do, 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 do. do this, and then go up, 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 up. All the timing, the placement there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Oops. I've made it uh, almost to mammals. Like, mammals is uh, on my main save. Like, if you look around the, the channel, I used to make a lot of uh, YouTube videos for this. Hey, there we go. And uh, I'm like, my main one is like one away from the, the end. Oops. I stole all the aluminium. The aluminum. So, yeah, yeah, I've made it, uh, I've made it, like, all the way before. I've made it almost to the end. Hmm. Gonna make another drill. How are we looking towards Warren anyway? Ooh, 82%. Nice. Uh, right, we're going to take you out and we're going to put in Squash. What don't I need from here? This, right? That. Use this. 
Time to go on an adventure. Oh, you do need aluminium for that. Ah, oh, fuck. Never mind. Think you're a bugs? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Bugs is good. Uh, mm, shit. I'm just going to leave that there for a second. Because I need to get more aluminium. I'm just aluminium short. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So this is two hours in. Yeah, we're doing a let's play. So we're going to start like with this. Uh, with this uh, live stream. And then we're going to. Uh, Continue with like YouTube videos as we uh, as we go through. Then maybe we'll like occasionally come back to a stream at some point, uh, but we'll see. So, yes, we're just we're cruising. Well, we're not actually that cruising. We're we're kind of motoring through this, to be honest. Need to get the jump pack next as well. I could have sworn there were not this many in here the first time I checked. Oh, so much aluminium. Oh, so much aluminium. <laughs> Perfect. Love that. That's what I'm here for. What have you been playing lately, Hawk, anyway? Uh, we're gonna build a blueprint screen. Shredder, nice. Tier 2 Torch. Mm. Ah, the Atmospheric Water Collector. What do I need for that? Mm, just a Cobalt. Mm. Well, let's just build one right here and start that. Captain of Industry. What's that? Ooh. Base builder terraforming game. Well, where have I found one of those before? <laughs> nice. Is it like same style as this then? Ah, another. The Biodoom. Top down. Ah, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Just gonna yolo over here a little bit. A Stargate. I'm not getting there, can you? Nope. Nice. And is that like you can terraform a whole planet as well, or like how does that work? I need 
need some ice. I actually don't need ice because I have the atmospheric water collector. Genius! Yoink. Map information rocket. Tier 2 GPS satellite. Okay. It's not really terraform, it's just the mining has landscaping. Oh, okay. Cool. Ah, destructible terrain. Gotcha. Handy. One million terraformation index. Not bad for uh, less than two and a half hours to get to one million. Like some Factoria Satisfactory. Yeah, nice. Yeah, this is... I always say this game is like if Satisfactory and... Uh, Subnautica had had a child. That's this game. One million... You should end up building like little bases everywhere to be able to uh, do all the things that I need to do. If I just build a little base, if I just build, if I just build a little base. clean up as I go. Alrighty. Right. Oh, look. It's raining. It's raining, chat. We did it. Alright. Step one. Golden chest. Thank you very much. Take that super alloy. Making it rain. I made it rain. Okay. So now we need to get all this stuff back to my base. The atmospheric water collector is extremely handy. So basically just drink for free. But the important thing is, I have plenty of aluminium. And super alloy. Which is important. Important to have both. Also, don't forget, guys, exclamation mark giveaway will take you to the tweet that I have for a giveaway. Two copies to win. Winners drawn on Wednesday next week. Win a copy for you or a friend, depending on uh, who you want to give it to. 
If you already have it or not. Oh, I do want to check something. Wait for this cave to melt. Need that osmium. That osmium bad. Okay. Oh, we got a bunch of iridium out of that cave. That's nice. Do, 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 do. Okay. So. Now we can start uh, doing a little bit more. So I think I'm going to take all this back to my base and then we might wrap up the first part of the let's play and then the second part is so probably what I'm going to record tomorrow morning and put out sometime next week or maybe the weekend not sure yet is uh, going to be basically like rebuilding my base to make it more efficient now I have aluminium so seeing what we can do in terms of drills and, and all that kind of fancy stuff Maybe another... What do I need for nuclear reactor? Does that also need aluminium? No. Make some super alloy, do some nuclear reactor things, get some power going. Yes. What's a, what's a biodome take? Three super alloy. Foolish James, you should take everything. But also like I need to, because I want to build big living compartments. So I need more super alloy to be able to build the living compartments. So I need to then like redo my entire base. Which could honestly be, like, about five more Let's Plays. Just making big living compartments. But at least I kind of have not gotten too far before I'm doing this. And I just realized I can no longer make it five across. I have to make it six across, otherwise it uh, doesn't work. And it can't be five long either, so I have to make six by six. Right, we have a biodome. Where are we at? Ooh, baby. Animals. Ooh. Right, at least we're on plants. Biolab, algae generator, plant rocket, all the good stuff. One titanium. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Don't even have a titanium. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting blue skies. Yes, we need this advanced crafter. I think this has gone pretty well, to be honest. Perfect. 
Iridium Rod, two Uranium, and a Super Alloy. Iridium Rod, two Uranium, and a Super Alloy. But I need that twice. Well, I made a first rocket engine. That's a success. Uh, let's just eat that. Okay. Because the other part, of course, is I have to, like, redo all of... <sighs> Compass, iron, silicon. Compass, iron, silicon. That's what breaks it? Really? Jesus, how much does it take? Okay, well, that's rubbish. Uh, pfft, takes so much. What was the other thing I needed? I needed this. Titanium, two magnesium, and aluminium. Titanium, two magnesium. Uh, aluminium. Let me guess. I don't have a spare aluminium, do I? Oh, Bryce. It's coming here. Well, we should. Are we getting water yet? I don't think so, right? No. We're getting there. We're getting there. Don't, don't stress the process. Uh, what else do I need? Once I get the jetpack, oh, that's gonna be easy. Yeah, I need super alloy to make these like big living compartments, but it also means I have to like shred everything in them to remake them. Atmospheric water collector, doing some work. Oh, of course I only bought one iridium. So what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna have to like tear down my base to then rebuild it again. But that's kind of the tough part is I have to move everything from one side to the other. But that's what we have other Let's Play videos for. So I've essentially got to remove all of these. That's so much aluminium. What can I do with that? super alloy and a uranium rod. Oh, wait, what? Super alloy. Oh, I don't even... I'm just, I'm all over the place right now. I need to just focus on one thing at a time. Classic let's plays. Let's just, let's just do one thing at a time. Before I work, focus on anything else. I think I have super alloy over here. And then I can make a, uh, and then I can make a jetpack. And the jetpack is going to zip me around.
And I can go in there and get some super alloy anyway, that's not a problem. Because you waste so many resources having to make them. So basically, it's one of everything to make them. Yeah, found some super alloy. enough iridium to make a rod, then I can make... Did I bring any titanium? No. Classic. Standard. I need this. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where did I just put that super alloy? Hopefully this will work. But I need... Titanium, silicon, two magnesium, and aluminium. Titanium, silicon, two magnesium... Perfect. Let me do this. I'm gonna do this. And then we do that. Let me do this. Oh my god. And then we're absolutely in business. And then we go like this. Oh. We have a jetpack, baby. Perfecto. Now we're balling. So yeah, not bad for uh, just over two hours. Almost three hours, I should say. Get a jetpack already. Zipping. We moving. Oh, mate. It's a good job we got a... And this is like the biggest problem is like the amount of trips it requires to uh, to move everything. We're about to be living the good life. And then once we get the big compartments set up, we are going to be all Gucci. Oh. Yoink. It's so much quicker. It's so much quicker. 1.62 million. Not bad from zero. Not bloody bad at all, I must say, eh, what ho chaps? Do, do, do. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Got scared for a moment there. All right, we're going to put the water collector right here. Just in a nice, slightly out the way spot. Uh, okay. Rightio then, chaps. I think... That's going to be me done for part numero uno. So yes. There'll be a second part that gets uploaded uh, sometime soon-ish. You know, we're, we're 30 episodes on the way towards liquid water. We've uh, we've made... We've done some things. So yes. When we... Uh... Oh, hold on. Oh no, these were the ones that I uh, just picked up, right? Yeah. 3056. So he got sent here two years before, actually. So he only got sent here two years before and then died. Yeah, we've started with an ore extractor. That's osmium. That's a little later. But yeah, I think a good start for the first few hours. Uh, we're going to build another nuclear reactor and stuff. But firstly, like, part two is going to be uh, rebuilding this whole base. So that we add these like wide open compartments and uh, and make life yeah, a little bit easier. So we're not like, you know, buried all the way down here. But guys, thanks so much. That is the end of part one. Uh, we're going to start making YouTube videos instead now. Like straight to YouTube, not lives. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow along if you want to see the Let's Plays. They're all going to be in a playlist. Uh, I'm going to trim this down ever so slightly to get rid of some of the stuff. But guys, thanks so much. I've been Captain James Force. You've been awesome, and I will catch you guys for part two. See you soon.